Good morning. Look at all of this snow. Crazy. We just drove up. We're almost in Inverness in Scotland and pretty stressful driving. Lots of snow. Our rental car, what looks like winter tires, not so much. So we're here for the next few days. We're going to be doing the North Coast 500, some parts of it anyway, as much as we can with this crazy weather. Right now it's a little bit of blue skies. No. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm good. It's snowing. It's beautiful. It's scary though to drive. Our rental car is proving not to be the most um, savvy. <laughs> savvy winter vehicle. Quick stop in Carbridge to see a little other bridge that Skylar wants to see? It's an old horse bridge. An old horse bridge. <laughs> Stop in Car Bridge. Car bridge, bridge. To, see the, to see the horse bridge. Risky. I would not be doing this. <laughs> this is BBC One. <laughs> Here reporting in Car Bridge at the old horse bridge. Cool spot. Just watch some crazy people climb on it. I would not. Oh my goodness. No. Nope. So pretty with the snow. Hopped into Inverness and grabbed a bunch of supplies for the next two days. Cotswold outdoors, a little butane can so that we can have hot coffee and noodles and heat up some food. And now we are traveling out of Inverness to Plata Falls and it's still snowing. Plata Falls, hard to get to. These look fresh. I'm not even sure if I can fit. Oh, oh my. Oh my goodness. <gasps> We're good. We're good job. <laughs> <laughs> Good job! This is crazy. First official stop today is Plata Falls. Says it takes about an hour. Yeah. Bit it's... of a drive to get here. Yeah, <laughs> very crazy drive to get here. So Plata Falls is actually located in this really neat uh, like forested area that is being protected and it has a bunch of different trails and that to check out. Today we're just gonna do the one and it's only one kilometer from the car where we parked our car to the falls and I think it's like a little um, a little loop trail. Lots of fallen trees on our drive today. Here's another recent one. I think I said an hour, but it's actually only been five minutes. And it's we're, like we're there. 400 meters from the car meters. park. Oh my goodness, our Strava is going to be... I don't even know if this is noteworthy Strava. <laughs> it's scary. Oh my god! Whoa! This is crazy. It's just a... It just goes straight out. Like, there's, no, I don't, there's nothing under us. My dad would hate this. Cool spot. <laughs> a very cool spot. Yeah, I uh, definitely check it out. Be prepared for that drive. Uh, it's gonna be <laughs> getting dark. Like we've been driving all day, so I don't know if we'll get something else. But we might be camping somewhere. Yes. So, yeah. so basically, the purpose of this trip is to just go, and then yeah. once it gets dark, we'll drive a bit. But then we can just sleep in the car. It's the beauty of yeah. being able to car camp. We don't know anything about this area, but just driving through the little town like the little villages to get to Plata Falls was really neat so it, was. it seemed like there's a bunch of cottages that you could book along the way too I don't know if they're private cottages or not but it'd be really cool to book a cottage and then like come explore these trails and check out this big waterfall this is the same area that my brother split his head open on a bridge is it yeah wow we made to drive to Inverness and poor Tyler stitches. poor Tyler oh no they glued his head oh, they glue stuff here explain so much <laughs> somewhere in the highlands and it's it's pretty it's pretty with all the snow um, it's 
Skylar just seen some deer. Oh, I can see them. I can see the deer. That just made my day. Guess what, Tyler? Manifesting! <laughs> Pretty well dark now, and we're just passing through Alapool. What a beautiful town. It's so this pretty. It's so pretty. So pretty. And it's right like in between like the water and the mountains. And they have and the lights. We've passed so many deer. I almost hit one. Like, probably like 10 deer somewhere. Just, they're right on the side of the road. This is so crazy. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? This one's a baby one. I've never seen this many deer in my life. Hundreds. Like, just hundreds. We just keep seeing them and almost hitting them. I can, there's like four of them right in front of us. And then you can see like another one over there in the dark. Just in time for the rain to start. Again, for the billionth time today. <laughs> We're ready for bed. I look so awkward. We found a spot kind of close to the castle. We're not going to give it away, but... <laughs> Maybe you'll figure it out in the morning. <laughs> Hoping it's clear. Uh, hope, praying for a good sunrise. Yeah. Good night. There it is. The sun's supposed to come up kind of between those mountains over there. Got the jet boil going. I had a really good sleep, actually. Um, it was kind of nice because it would start crazy hailing through the middle of the night and at first it would startle you awake and then it would just like lull you to sleep but it was like crazy icy pellets. Castle Ardbrick, built in the late 1600s. Lots of history with this one, with like McLeods and Mackenzies and Sutherlands and feuds and just craziness. It was also struck by lightning and has ghosts, apparently. Uh, the McLeod chief's daughter uh, drowned in the lock after marrying in Marrying the devil. <laughs> in a pact to save her father's castle. Uh, but then there's other ghosts too. And it's really cool because it's like out on this little peninsula. Oh no! <laughs> that's a really funny sign. It says no pooping. So we read online. <laughs> that's, that's, that's happened. <laughs> yeah, we read online that there was recently in 2021, there was recently somebody like camped here and they were like pooping and throwing up and doing all the gross like party camper things right beside the castle, which isn't cool. Not cool. Holy smokes, this is beautiful. Oh my god, just like... <laughs> in the car like crazy. <laughs> Spotted a really cool house. Not sure if it's a house or a shed, but just like out there on the lake. Nothing around it. Twelve, thirteen. I got fourteen deer. There's fourteen deer right in front of us. All right, we're at 25 deer. I see 25. Can you please go? Home? We're covered in deer. Oh my god. What is this? We had plans to go to the deer center, uh, like the reindeer center and the caring worms, but I think I think we're satisfied. 
after seeing that many deer. I mean, I still want to like see and pet and feed a reindeer, but Man. this has been incredible. There's like, like got to be like a hundred over there. And you don't have to get out of your, your car to see them either, like, which is dangerous if they jump out, but so be careful. But it's oh been God. amazing. So many deer. It's also got like crazy, crazy windy. I almost tore my arm off at the door. <laughs> and raining. Oh. So the part that we're at right now is Coaldale and it's Kyle of Durness is the inlet of water that comes in. And we really wanted to go to Cape Wrath. There is a lighthouse out there, but it is so remote that they only do it by ferry service. And by ferry, it's a dinghy boat. Takes you across the water during like the sunnier months. You can jump on a little mini bus and then the mini bus takes you to the lighthouse. Like it's so remote. What did you look it up? So there is no road that like, there is land, like there isn't, like you, it's connected, but there's no road. <laughs> so there's a big hike, it takes 15 to 20 days, 250 miles or something if you wanted to hike it. And then your only other option is to take the, take the little dinghy and then get driven around while you're over there. So very cool, I didn't know that existed, but it's the most <laughs> northern spot in Scotland that you can get to that we couldn't get to. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do John of Groats instead which is the other highest point. We're gonna check out Smooth Cave, also incredibly windy. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get into it or see it or what because of the waves. But... This is absolutely not what we were expecting. It's crazy down here. This is so cool and it's so misty too. I believe there is a waterfall right in the next little tavern. I didn't realize there's just like a big hole. <laughs> I think normally you can get a tour that you have to pay for, but today because of the winds, there's just nobody here and it says free. It's one of the largest sea cave entrances in Britain. Just saw a cave rescue guy and he said that's his shower done for the day, so let's go check out the waterfall. <laughs> oh no, man. I'm so. Cheese cutter pro over here. <laughs> David didn't bring a knife, so we have this spoon fork combination, and part of it is kind of sorry to. It's messy. The day just gets better. There's this zip line here. It's raining like crazy, and then there's just a bunch of sheep on a cliff beside this beautiful beach. Uh, we have made it to Tongue. And this is like the bridge type thing that goes over the Kyla Tongue. And of course they're doing construction on it. <laughs> water of Kyle means water. It must, it must mean like um... The water of tongue. We made it to John of Groats, but it is dark. <laughs> we were supposed to visit this for sunset and then head to our next stop for sunrise, but we're a whole stop behind, so two stops behind. Two stops behind. Yeah. <laughs> well like, yeah, one and a bit. It's tough. I mean, winter travel is tough. The daylight is so little, but yeah. we're going to do sunrise at John O'Groats, and then tomorrow's plan is a castle along the way, and then Sinclair Greenago, and then what? And, and then Glen Ranji. 
Glenmorangie. Really? There's two two castles tomorrow, then Glenmorangie. And John O'Groats. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. No, we are in John O'Groats right now. <laughs> oh my god. We're we're gonna walk into town. It's only a ten minute walk. Yeah. <laughs> we made it to John O'Groats. This is their this is their brewery. Not open. Not only open ten to three. It's totally raining like crazy. Good morning. We're here at Duncan's B Lighthouse. And we're actually heading over to the coast here to see these crazy stacks. For sunrise, we got like three minutes until the sun comes up. And it's looking good. Sea stacks. Lighthouse. Ridiculous photos. Do we film that? I took a little video, yeah. Took a I don't know if I'll video. find that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we can find the photos. But this this like couldn't have been any better. This is perfect. It's a great so day. It's good to come back and get it in a good good light. Yeah. So, yeah. Pretty chilly this morning. It's a very cold winter morning. However, I'm also struggling. We were having some whiskey and watching Outlander last night, so I think I'm feeling a little bit of a whiskey hangover. But what a place to be hung over. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely the best medicine is being outside and being with beautiful views. Well, we found a rope down to the beach. It's actually really easy to get down. Holy smokes, that's crazy. Now what time is it? Breakfast time. Breakfast time! I'm on a super big lens. Came back into John O'Groats. Way better weather than last night. It's a total ghost town. It's empty. Nobody's here. I made it to John O'Groats. I don't know about Skylar because I can't find her. She's gone. I found her. Oh my god. <laughs> Miscommunication. <laughs> you go for a swim. Bye. Oh, <laughs> careful. You mad woman. Give us a wave. Bringing home a little. Gift for Toby. A little coo for Toby. It's a shiny one. It is a shiny one. I think that this is going to get destroyed instantly, but oh well. They also had sheep and puffins and nessies and border collies and seals, but I wanted a cow. We spent way too much time here. That is Keys Castle. We're not going to... We don't really have time to... We're behind to schedule, so we're not going to get over there, but cool castle if you have time right over there. You can park in the town of Keys, and it looks like you can walk along the coast. There's like a little coastal footpath uh, so that you can get a bit closer to it. Return visits free. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. This is our most favorite castle in Scotland. It is Sinclair, Grinigo. I think it's actually two castles. We just looked that up. Skylar's gonna give you a brief history lesson. So Castle Sinclair Greenigo is actually two castles. One part, Castle Greenigo was built in the 15th century and then Castle Sinclair was built in the 17th century. And it was pretty much run by the Sinclair family, which were the Earls of Caithness. The second Earl was the guy who was like, hey, I wanna build this castle. And then it goes down the line of other Earls. The fourth Earl, I read a crazy story about, he thought his son was trying to take over his reign. So he imprisoned his own son for seven years before eventually feeding his son a salted beef diet only with no water so that his son eventually died of thirst craziness. Then I think it was the sixth Earl of Caithness that was in quite a bit of debt. So to his cousin who was a Campbell of Orc knee or orc something um so he owed his cousin a lot of money he ended up just giving his cousin his entire castle which is bonkers and then he died a few years later and then after he died his cousin tromps on over to castle sinclair greenigo marries the guy's widow's wife and then basically calls himself the earl of Caithness, which was then challenged throughout the centuries of who is actually the Earl of Caithness, and there was battles, and then Cromwell obviously comes into their plot line, and yeah. Eventually, it was restored to the Sinclairs, I think. I don't know how she's able to memorize all of that within like 10 minutes. That was impressive. <laughs> I screenshot like information pages before we come to places, like, and then just like read them in the car right before we go there. So, I mean, it's pretty fresh in my mind. It's not like I like I learned this years ago. These gates are quite fancy. Fancy gates. Come on. Just happy to be back. Look at this thing. It's the coolest castle. I think it's also cool because our first time being here was like a really special experience. We like woke up and... Nice sunrise. Yeah, it was amazing sunrise. We got to see this little kid and um, his dad like just they're like playing with sticks acting like they were sword fighting walking to the castle in the morning and then they stayed in a camper van the night before i was like oh my god this kid is living what an amazing childhood this little kid is having and i don't know it was just a magical morning it's skylar size <laughs> oh that's scary it feels like hollow yeah i'm good i believe it And cool. Lots of safety precautions. I feel like it's not just for safety either. It's definitely to like try to withhold the, keep the building together. Like there's scaffolding in there. This is trying, I mean, it's literally built into the cliff's edge. The amount of erod erosion that would happen over time. Like that is just, that's nuts. To build it like right there. It was two castles, I'm not positive where they're joined but i think it was like here so like there was a castle over there and then they built another castle here and they kind of just like joined them they really just expanded but they wanted to rename the entire castle um castle sinclair but because in the 1700s um or the 17th century i can't remember which one, um castle sinclair and castle greenigo were both registered at the same time it's technically still two castles or still classified as two castles but it's one castle so it got both names if that makes sense castle sinclair greenigo favorite castle oh my god that was the last adventure day here in scotland for our trip Hope you enjoyed our little mini travel series of discovering different places and exploring the North Coast, North Coast 500. You got it. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a place in PEI. It's like North Cape. Coastal Drive. Coastal yes. Drive. And I keep wanting to mix it up with that. So we're heading yeah. back home. Um, we actually have to stop at a, a pharmacy called Boots and get a PCR test so that we can fly home. Very, very expensive. It was about $300, so hopefully we don't have to get any more tests. Yeah. 
Uh, thanks but we for also the have rapid tests with us, so we've been yeah we've been, we've been good. dodging COVID all day. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one. See you on the next one. Also, David just proposed to me. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> no context. That's where we're leaving you. Bye. Bye. Bonus footage. We're like three minutes away from closing at Glen Morangie. So we're trying to get in there because the parents back home love Glen Morangie. Still are shot. Hey! Can I have the top or anything? I know it's just about closed. What's that? I'm just saying it's closed, guys. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Right. We didn't make it, but there was a really nice man who gave us a smidge of a tour. This is my stepdad's favorite whiskey, it's Glen Morangie. And we should have asked them, is it Glen Morangi or Glen... Morangi? Morangi? Cool spot! <laughs> cool, very cool spot. <laughs> <laughs> you should keep the first one. <laughs> what? No, we'll do it again. <laughs> cool spot. Very cool spot. Wait, cool spot. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice is cracking. Look at this sign. Come back. Ah. Come on. Volkswagen Golf. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> I'm like in park and they're still beeping at me. It's in park. Come on, come on. Is it my belt? Is it my belt?